Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Troy coming to another video. I know the room looks a little different. I did move different. I still gotta find a place to film that is like good. Cause like, I mean, this is still like against my bedroom wall, but like the angle is weird. It's like a weird time of day. Like the sun is still like beaming in. So like the LEDs and stuff just look stupid. So I'm here with the ring light set up on my chair. So that's where we're at right now. But yeah, I apologize. I'm gonna try to up the video so it's a little more aesthetically pleasing. But anyway, We'll get right into it. I'm gonna be basically talking about like what my opinion is on like on on gatekeeping and like what people really need to stop doing and like preventing people from doing something that they want to do or something they like a little change they want to make in their own lives that shouldn't really have an effect on other people. If you don't know what gatekeeping is, gatekeeping is kind of like say if someone wants to make a change in their life, like say like oh like I'm gonna start making music and then people in the music industry almost like not even people in the music industry, just people that like just want to have opinions on the internet or think they're important basically say no you can't be an artist or no music you would be trash bro like and they like prevent them almost from going into the space not like they have any power to prevent them or anything like that but it's like the influence behind trying to prevent somebody from doing something they just like want to do like i honestly think that's like that's complete bullshit in my opinion if i'm trying to go into something that i personally enjoy or like something that could potentially be a better change for me personally, I shouldn't have, there shouldn't be other people there to influence like negatively saying, oh no, you can't do that. Or no, you shouldn't be able to do that. Because like in the end, like no one has power over someone else. And if you really want to be doing something like somebody off the internet, some random shouldn't be the one to prevent you from doing the thing. Cause it just doesn't fucking make sense. And I feel like a lot of times, like even like, even if it's not definition of gatekeeping anything, that falls under the umbrella of like someone want to, someone someone wants to make a change and then someone is like going against the change they're trying to make but i'm like bro like they're literally trying to better themselves yet here you are trying to judge them i don't know my motivation for making a video like this is just like i just see people trying to do like new stuff and then like someone's always just like why are you doing this like this is you shouldn't be doing this who is someone else to be telling you what you should be doing? Like people realize that it's really like people don't realize it's really easy to judge other people when you're not doing anything yourself. Like you ever notice like the people that are always like the most judgy are the people that aren't don't really have anything going on. Like people that are always like in the comments spamming all this shit or like on Twitter saying all this shit or just like commenting on like shit that, is, that has nothing to do with them. It's always people that have nothing going on because people that are actually doing stuff don't have the time to be commenting like stop doing it something that i'm learning is like as like i'm growing and progressing i'm definitely seeing that your opinions like your opinions about other people are like simply reflections of yourself so like if you're always like Yo, why are you trying this stop stick to this it's just a reflection of you being insecure of because you're not trying that thing you're jealous of that person reaching out I'm like you know they're, they're trying that i can't let them do it can't can't allow it nope like bro like that's real tough bro because you should really just support your friends and support people for doing stuff that is not in their comfort zone because a lot of the stuff is not easy whether it's like starting a business starting a fucking music career making videos like anything like that it's not easy bro so like for you to like it was really easy to say like oh man man making music so easier doing this is so easy when you haven't done it bro like, it's really easy to judge someone ignorantly. Like, it's really easy. Like, I can just talk, sorry, like, I can just talk shit about us, like, a sport or, like, a talent, something that I've never even, like, attempted to do because I don't understand it. But once you, like, like, take a step back and, like, get out of your own ass and you realize that, like, hmm, like, I'm not the person, like, I really shouldn't be judging him. Like, hmm, like, that actually takes some skill or, hmm, I guess I don't have all the fucking powers or, I don't have as much influence as I thought I did. Like, people don't realize those kind of things, and I just want to help people, those insecure people, realize and branch out. Now, if you're going to get anything out of this video, if you're watching it, I really think that you should just learn to branch out and just do things that you're uncomfortable with because I feel like there's a lot of beauty and discomfort. I think I talked about that before in, like, a past video. If anyone wants to go watch your business. But, like, I, I talked about it, I think, in the past video, like, how there's beauty and, and discomfort. Because it's really, really easy to, to be comfortable and fucking judge other people. And, like, just stay in your own bubble, stay in your own space. And it's really easy to do that. Like, it's really easy to, to relax. But, like, when you're... But you tend to learn the most when you're, like, put... You're, like, pushed 
to do something that you're not used to be doing. Like everybody has that experience where like someone push you to do something, you're like you're like ah fuck, I guess, I guess, and then you have a really good time. Like that happens to everybody. Like so, my my only advice would be to really get out there and try something that you haven't done before, or be more comfortable with being uncomfortable. Another pe another thing people don't realize when it comes to gatekeeping or preventing someone from trying something new is if, imagine if someone wanted to start up a business or someone wanted to start something new, like someone came to you, like one of your peers, and then instead of shooting them down, you actually help them build up to whatever they wanted, or at least attempt to. Because imagine like how many more things would be more like, would actually work out, or how many more things would be successful, how many more people would be successful, or how many more ideas would be finalized if people didn't just be like, nah, 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 that's a terrible idea. While I fucking work my nine to five at fucking Walgreens and don't do shit. Like, it's really easy to say that. Like, it's fucking really easy to do those kind of things and fucking think ignorantly. But if we fucking actually came together and helped each other and help our peers and our friends accomplish these goals and fucking execute these ideas, we would all have, we would all eat. Like, these people are always, like, worrying about what other people, like, what's on someone else's plate. Like, mm, man, it's fucking trash, like this, like, and just shit on it. But imagine if we all created the meal together. We'd have a feast, bro. We'd be eating it up, bro. Like, imagine if we were all, like, coming together. Like, me and my friends were just talking about that. Like, one of my friends is trying to create, like, a videographer business and, like, some, like, stuff with some drones and stuff. And, like, bro, if I can incorporate that here plug him with this he's trying to do some someone else trying to do some merch and all this shit like imagine if you were like combine like all this stuff together like so many people different people are trying to do their own stuff their own stuff and you guys are just imagine if you guys networked and helped each other instead of being so judgmental and so ignorant like you guys can't see through your own fucking thick skull no it's gonna be like you if you like saw through the bullshit sometimes like you have to like uncover the veil like you have to look behind the curtain to really realize like that a lot of it's fucking bullshit and it's set up to be more difficult because we're all working against each other always fighting each other so imagine if we actually came together and executed ideas as a team or like build stuff or like just came together instead of like preventing people from doing stuff that's the same like i had another I keep talking about past videos but i talked about i had like a video of me talking about me uh, deactivating my twitter at one point i mean i reactivated since but like i don't really use it as much i try not to because like just the culture of like the media and people like just bringing others down for no apparent reason like someone will like simply tweet out like one sentence and there's like everybody in the comments like trashing them you're this blah blah, blah like but if someone like but imagine the whole like you know how like much a positive like a strain of positive comments does it does like so much so like imagine if everybody was like obviously it's not like the most practical but if you can just be more positive or just strive to be like before you ignorantly judge someone just be like you know what like let me not say anything or if you don't agree with it like how about you just don't say anything instead of like and then sit there and just watch it be built up instead of like trying to prevent people from more or like discourage people because some people are just not as strong as other people so if you getting these comments or your um dreaming is not like on anything social media related like someone like your peers are telling you it's a bad idea no nah. if your your peers or, or someone like around you is telling you like that's stupid don't try that that's that's literally dumb as shit like you should never try that and then it prevents you say if you're not as strong willed you're like you know what man maybe it's right and then it really prevents you from even trying to start the goals because you shot them down so soon. You're like, you didn't help them. Like, maybe instead of like, say if someone came to you with some music, right? Your friend comes to you with some music. It's not that hot. You're like, hey, bro. Like, instead of being like, just trash, bro. Give it up. Maybe give him a suggestion, bro. Maybe give him a beat. Like, give him something maybe that would help him get better instead of just saying he's bad. Like, bro, it's way better. It's, it's I mean, it's easier said than done. Like, everything else. But like, it's, but it really is like, just eat. Like, it's really not that hard to be like nice to people or like encourage people like there is nothing there's there's nothing um like you just like giving someone like a small compliment in the store or something could do something like so much more than you could ever imagine instead of just like hating on people ignorantly and just blindly just bashing people because you don't know shit let me say that again you don't know shit you don't know as much as you think you do like, I, I learn that all the time. Like, the, the wise man knows nothing. A wise man knows nothing. 
and recognizes he doesn't know anything. And that's why he grows so much. People that think they know everything block off all these other external ideas and, and favors and blessings. They just block because they think they know everything. They think they have all the answers. But the answers are like in your ears, but you really you turn off your ear ain't. You're too, you turn off your hearing aid, but the answers are right here. You just would have like twisted it. The information would have just came in. You wouldn't have been, if you weren't so ignorant, you would have just opened up the fucking ear canal and you would have fucking heard the information. I'm trying to, if you notice, I haven't actually been, this is going to be the second video in a row that's going to be on a schedule. I'm trying. So instead of saying like, oh, I'm trying to do something, I'm actually going to, this is like, I mean, this is the second day in the, the sec, this is the second time in a row that I'm going to be uploading at Sunday at noon. So that's like going to be what I'm at least try to do before I try incorporating like other videos, yada, yada. I'm going to at least try it every Sunday at noon. I'm going to upload a video. So if you ever like wondering, where is your try upload? I have enjoyed the last video. I mean, I have a plenty of views that y'all can get the views up on. But if you're ever curious to when I'm going to upload, I'm going to shoot for Sunday at noon. This could be the second video because I'm going to edit it. Like this is recorded on Friday, but I'm still going to upload it on Sunday at noon. I'm going to try to do it like at least one video a week at the same time before trying to incorporate anything else. But I'm trying. I'm really trying. I'm trying to be dedicated to this because I do want this to be successful. I do want this to be a thing. Like I did, it would be so cool if this actually became like something cool because I've gotten a lot of um, support in comments lately and the love and I really appreciate it. All right, y'all hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, love you guys. Love the support. Um, don't be so ignorant. That's why I like take from this video. Don't be so ignorant and not bash people if you don't know anything or don't pretend to know more than you do because it's okay to not know things and it's okay to interpret and gain information and distribute them evenly amongst others so we can all eat. All right. Love you guys. It's coming from a place to love. It always is. And I appreciate any support. Peace.